Spurs against West Ham, a rousing derby match to get the season underway. And of course, for the sentimental ones, this return by Jimmy Greaves. There was a crowd of 53,000 there for it. And in the Spurs lineup, naturally, Martin Peters playing against his old club. But no Philip Beale, he's injured, and his place at number six has gone today to Dennis Bond. As for West Ham, Peter Eustace is not quite match fit, so they have Peter Bennett, a forward turned midfield player, at number four. It really is a match sparkling with top personalities. And whichever club you support, you just have to admire this man, Bobby Moore, when you think of the strain he's been under, both in South America, Colombia, and more recently with that kidnap threat. And yet his football has never wavered. And so we go into the new season with Spurs defending that goal to our left, of course in white, and Mike England straight back to Pat Jennings. Two sides who didn't really distinguish themselves too much last season. West Ham finishing 17th and Spurs 11th. And now young Peter Grodier getting his first touch. Made his first appearance here two years ago. Clyde Best right up the middle. And Mullery who had such a superb World Cup coming away for Spurs. Jimmy Pierce. Chased by Bonds. Greaves now with a good deal of support for Greaves here too now rather expected to see him in a more defensive role but uh, charging up that wing and the throw in back given to West Ham Clyde Best coming towards it and Peters and Knowles between them Getting away, Bobby Moore. Oh! Evans with the throw to Knowles. Gilzine winning it in the air, but Gilzine wins the majority of balls in the air with that delicate touch of his. Perryman and England. Moore's header a little misplaced. Dennis Bond to Gilzean. And now to Ray Evans, the young fullback who made his mark last season. Peters going in. But in fact, a free kick must have been given there against Martin Peters. Going in a little too vigorously. Good kick there from Grotia, finding Clyde Best. Mallory to Knowles. And now to Peters. Mallory's job, I imagine, for most of the time will be to watch Greaves. I think it might have been Beale's job, but now with Beale out, it might be Mallory's. And now Spurs coming away again through Evans. Gilzean calling for it in the middle, and Gilzean getting out into it. Straight into the arms of Grotia. A planned move, and Gilzean was on the spot. Stevenson to best. Greaves to flick it on to look for Hurst. And England, who's missed nothing so far, but a pass that very nearly put Evans in trouble. Recovered well, Ray Evans. And now Perryman. Hurst. Greaves. Flick it inside Knowles, a flick there towards Best, oh good work by Jennings, oh a fine save by Jennings from Best but a beautiful West Ham move. Mullery. Oh Chivers with a good burst of speed, Stevenson coming across and beautiful timing with that tackle. Alan Stevenson timed that to perfection because Chivers really here he is was really moving Gilzean to flick it on and Pierce to put it over again that Chivers long throw which somehow steals up on you and Gilzean with another delicate flick of his and nearly the first goal of this game just over a quarter of an hour gone no score Bond with the corner Peters looking to get under it. Chivers. Charged down there by Bennett. 
Pierce. And now England right up there and Leppard to get it away. England in there primarily to use his head, almost getting through with a shot. And another throw and another chance for Chivers to put a long one in. England getting ahead to it, Peters onto the bar, Peters again, and Clotia. Well, how unlucky can Spurs get? And a free kick given against Bond on Hurst, and the referee here, Bob Mathewson, one of the rare breed of referees who was a professional footballer. He was a pro with Bolton in the early 1950s, and a linesman in the last cup final. Bond to Evans. And that ball was out as well. Says the linesman. The referee agrees. And the crowd beg to differ. Bobby Moore for West Ham. Best. Gone back to the centre again and still Knowles with him. Stevenson. And Hurst. Greaves going in fast on it, but Jennings for Tottenham. Steve Perryman. What a season of great opportunity it could be for Perryman. Here he comes again, working well nicely with Bond, and a good pass there to Gilzine and Evans, and Pierce looking to get underneath it. Bond with a shot. And the least said about that soon is bended. Dennis Bond who's been very busy in midfield, certainly for uh, Spurs. And no doubt he'll be glad to uh, forget that shot as well. Gilzine. And Tottenham's throw. Yes, they're going to wait for Chivers. And England's going up as well. Right in there, and wanting it on his head. That won't get to his head. In fact, Stevenson almost going to his knees to get it away. First, rather. And now it's Brooking, with Greaves unmarked outside him, and Mullery closing the gap beautifully. Did very well there, Mullery. That really looked a menacing break for West Ham. It's West Ham's throw. More to Stevenson. This time Brooking making the break and Perryman going with him. Can Brooking get there first? He's got Greaves waiting in the middle and West. And England as sure as ever for Spurs once more. Lampard really going in very hard indeed on the back of Gilzine. And the referee having a word. There's Perryman. The referee having a quick word with Lampard. Bonds. Oh, straight to Perryman. Pierce. Peters going outside him, but acting as a decoy, and down goes Grotia to save what was a very difficult shot from Pierce just bouncing in front of him. Lampard. Goes in. I think there's a little bit of. Uh, the feud coming out there. On, a little bit of revenge by Gilzine on Lampard. Knowles. The path back to Jennings is blocked. The Perryman there makes himself available and now finds Evans. Mullery. Moore getting in front of Chivers. Brooking. Stevenson. And now young Steve Perryman again. Pierce. Perryman going in again as though his life depends on it. Finds Pierce. Peters outside him. 
and straight into Grodia's arms again. Tom Peters. And Chivers over the bar. What could have been some really fatal slackness in that uh, West Ham defence. Very nearly presenting Chivers with uh, a golden opportunity. England. And now Pierce. Oh, and Gilzine quite free. There it goes by Gilzine. And no mistake about it. What a wonderful goal to start the season at White Hart Lane, made by Jimmy Pierce here on this terrific run. He holds the ball and slides it at just the right moment for Alan Gilzine's run, who moves to the left of the box and hammers it like a bullet into the far corner of the net. A goal just when the game wanted one, and a brilliant goal at that. A free kick now given to West Ham. Now Bobby Moore, best to flick it on, and Peters, Bobby Moore to pump it back again, Hurst looking to get underneath it, and does so, Greaves, oh Greaves, he's done it, Jimmy Greaves, the goal he wanted. Well, neither Greaves nor Hurst has made his mark on this game up to now, but they certainly made it with this goal. Look at that lovely leap of Jeff Hurst, the way he just nudges the ball off, and Greaves accelerates onto it and surprisingly crashes into the net with his right foot. Suddenly it's nestling in the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. And so much now to get this big crowd going. Mullery to England. And now to Evans. Chivers looking for it with his head, Pierce trying to get in again, the feet and the heads are flying, and it's an indirect free kick to Tottenham. Stevenson and Bond's not happy, but referee Matthewson adamant. Now a little moment of crisis for West Ham. That's how it is from behind that goal of Grotius. Almost a central position. Quite a long West Ham wall because it's such a central position. I don't know how much Grotia can see. But he'll need to see. Peters and Bond between them. Indirect, says the referee, with his arm aloft. Peters going in with a little chip. Beautifully manufactured. Oh, and Knowles missed it. What a miss by Cyril Knowles. What a beautiful little chip by Peters. Delicately over that wall. And West Ham were caught napping by Knowles. Free kick now to West Ham. A game that really has burst fully into life now. Peters getting in first to Pierce. And now pick Mike England. To 
with the equally tall Ray Evans. England to look for Chivers. Moore is with him. Gilzean to Bond. And Chivers turning it across. Gilzean having it blocked. And Bonds to get it away. Bennett. And a handball says the line's on the far side against Peter Bennett. The man who started as a centre forward last season and really is according to West Ham, beginning to blossom as a number four. So now we have this situation that we had just a couple of three minutes ago, when Peters chipped it over the wall. I'm sure he won't try that again. Or if he does, West Ham should certainly be alert to it. Perryman in the wall, Chivers in that West Ham wall as well. There's the chip to the far side. Evans this time going in fast. But this time Evans was watched by Stevenson here. But certainly Spurs are working those free kicks on the edge of that penalty area very well indeed. And a tremendous amount of thought and a tremendous amount of practice out at Chesant, their practice ground, goes into those sort of moves. So Grotier then with a goal kick. Jimmy Pierce to Mullery, looking for Chivers. Oh, straight back to Jimmy Greaves. And now for Brookie. Hurst is up with him. And Perryman getting in well. England to Jennings. Steve Perryman. What a prospect. So brave as well, getting in, finding Bond, and now Evans. Turning it back well first time, and Stevenson forced to give away the corner. Appealing against it, but there can really be no doubt, Alan Stevenson, the number five. But he did very well to get in there quickly as he did. Mike England has gone to the near post for Spurs. That big figure you can see at that near post is Mike England. There he is with Bobby Moore. Dennis Bond with the corner. Aim towards England. Flicked on well. Kills in. And it works. Kills in. Well, Dennis Bond shows here how accurately he can chip a ball and lays it right on Mike England's head. But you see Bobby Moore not quite close enough to Mike England and the flick on gives Gilzean the kind of chance that with his heading ability he's hardly likely to miss. So three goals in six minutes. This sees Spurs 2-1 ahead. Peters. Three goals in six minutes and each of them such beautiful goals as well. Chivers. Oh, what a good pass there, but he's offside. Gilzean was offside. Not a very good pass there by Brookie, but Lampard made something of it. And now it's Bobby Moore. Powell. Evans in very quickly with a firm and a fair tackle. And the throw given to Tottenham. Right. Evans, a fullback who's maturing very quickly. <laughs> and Mullery, the skipper, well pleased to see his side 2-1 up. Here's Evans. And there's the whistle for half-time. And a very good first half.
it's been as well Jimmy Greaves having scored the goal that all sentimentalists would want him to have scored back at White Hart Lane but Alan Gilzean in the meantime having scored two for Tottenham and so we get a half-time score of Spurs 2, West Ham United 1 more soccer for you in just a couple of minutes from now So Spurs then having uh, lost to West Ham in this corresponding match last season, now on their way to getting some revenge for that. 2-1 up as we go now into the second half. Cyril Knowles. And certainly it means that Bobby Moore has got to whip his men up even more in this second half. 2-1 down. And really there haven't been too many chances for West Ham. There's another long throw by Chivers. Fancy that might catch one or two sides out this season. There's Peters trying to go in and Moore getting there first. Pulling Peters down. But play on, says the referee. As Moore and Peters there. <laughs> Having a little tug at Bobby Moore's foot. Mallory going down and taking the ball with him. And a trip given against Bobby Howe and the free kick very quickly taken by Spurs. Bond. Oh, a nice little pass there by Bond to Gilzean. He's got Chivers in the middle, and Moore is in the middle as well. Clyde Best. Oh, look, good ball there. Straight to Hurst. Oh, Hurst just overtaking it on the run. But the first genuine flash that we've seen of Jeff Hurst. And a warning to Mike England there. England really has watched him well. But it was a good pass there by Best. <laughs> Pierce, Stevenson, and Best again. Now Peter Bennett to Bobby Howe with Lampard going up outside him. Gilzean has come back as well. Greaves looking for Hurst again. Now the ball falling for Jimmy Pierce. Bond, who really has had a lively and a very attractive game for Spurs. Taking that pass from Chivers, finding Gilsey. Chivers waiting at the far side of that penalty area. Chivers going in, and Stevenson, good work, being applauded in fact by his goalkeeper, Grotier because Grotia knew what that work by Stevenson meant with Chivers lurking just the far side of him Chivers at the near post Pierce with the corner Billy Bonds away Steve Perryman to Knowles Perryman Chivers England, Bond, Gilsey. And now Evans. Peters looking for it. Bonds is there. It's not away yet. Stevenson getting it away, though, as far as Hurst. And now to Brookie. Trip by Perryman, but an accidental trip. And a free kick to, Tot uh, to uh, West Ham. Bobby Moore switching it to Lampard. West Ham's ball. Best finding Lampard again. Lampard looking for more. First time in the Best again, but he couldn't control it. Perhaps he should have controlled it. And a free kick given.
goes in. And Bond. Bobby Moore. To Lampard. Perryman. Dennis Bond to Chivers. Gilsey. Spurs moving with a lot of assurance when they do come forward. Here's Perryman again. Perryman going past four. And Clotier stopping it with his knees. That was a very good piece of play by Perryman. Gliding past Bobby Moore of all people. Now Bond. Oh, and Mallory making a good break. Mallory with a shot. It's just needed a gentle prod home. And if either Peters or Chivers had been just a yard on, Mallory's pass would have been prodded home. Moore, Hurst. Hurst needing to come deeper and deeper to get a few yards for himself away from Mike England. Greaves, finding the same sort of problem facing Alan Mallory. Moore, now to Lampard. And Evans in first, but the throw to West Ham, with 14 minutes of the second half gone, still 2-1 to Spurs. Clyde Best. Howe tricking his man very neatly, and a nice little cross there, and in goes Bennett! 2-2 by Peter Bennett. Well, Clyde Best, who's had a wonderful game up to now, played a big part in this goal. Look at that feint, good dummy, and a perfect layoff to Bobby Howe on the wing. Bobby Howe with a number 11 on his back, suddenly decides to play like a natural outside left, and look how accurate that cross is. Peter Bennett is stealing into the box. There is the right-hand corner of the picture. Jumps perfectly, and a copybook header gives the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever. Well, Peter Bennett, who's made only 38 appearances in the first team over seven years for West Ham, most of them as a forward, finds himself in the middle of the field and then goes forward to do a real rescue act for West Ham. A free kick there given against Bennett now. For the foul on Peters. Other angle, this is Peters making his little chip again. Oh, and a superb overhead kick by Lampard. Because it very nearly came off again, this time with Chivers breaking through. But here's Gilzine, and still pressure on West Ham, and Grote are gathering it well. Bonds to Greaves. Brooking. Bonds, plenty of men up now for West Ham, and Best tries an overhead kick, at least over his shoulder, but also over the crossbar. pressure they have been taking West Ham, perhaps a little lucky to be level, 2-2, Bond, Chivers, but again losing control and uh, Billy Bonds getting in for West, for West Ham, Rookie, Bonds, certainly there's a spring in West Ham stride now but uh, not a very good cross though by Billy Bonds, straight into Jennings arms, Pierce, Finding Gilsey. Scorer of two fine goals here for Spurs this afternoon. And now Perryman finding Peters. Gilsey going in on it. 
but a little too high for him. Powell. Best to Hurst. One against one was Hurst faces Mike England. Played back for Best to blast one. Oh, great work there by Jennings. And what a fine shot by this fellow number seven, Clyde Best. And so it's a corner. West Ham really springing forward now. Best with the corner. Oh, and Bonds, after Jennings had slipped, getting Spurs out of trouble. Evans. Oh, showing far too much of that to Bobby Howe, but uh, with Howe slipping, he also had time to recover. What a tremendous save by Jennings. Mullery. Taking that pass from England. Mullery again. As we go into the last minute of the game, Martin Peters. Evans again making an advance down the right for Tottenham and Grotier getting underneath this one. His catching has been good and sure of Grotier's this afternoon. Under a lot of pressure but losing that one to Gilzean, but Gilzean no doubt knocking it out of his hands unfairly. And the free kick given to West Ham. Remember two years ago, we televised a West Ham Spurs match in pouring rain at Upton Park that finished 2-2, which was a real classic. Well, it's 2-2 again today, and there's been a lot to commend this game as well. Gilzean. Bonds. Taking that return pass from Perryman, and now looking for Evans again as the final whistle goes. A draw it is. Jimmy Greaves having scored that one goal for West Ham in the first half and Gilzean having got two in the first half for Spurs and Peter Bennett the number four for West Ham having scored that equaliser in the second half. A fine game then. Jimmy Greaves is happy. A lot of the fans are happy having had 90 minutes of really exhilarating football to start off this new season. The final score then at White Hart Lane. Spurs two, West Ham two.